I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will see how to find number of regions by n lines. The question here is find the maximum number of regions formed by n lines through a circle. So let's consider a circle. Right? Let's say this is a circle. And if we draw a few lines in this circle, how many regions can we get? That's the question. So to do this, let's make a table, right? So let's make a table and try to understand. So what we will do here is we will count the number of regions after drawing the number of lines. So let this be the number of lines. And then we will count the number of regions. So if I don't draw any line, so if the number of line is zero, we have one region. Do you see that? So this plane is one region. However, if I draw one line, let us say the line drawn is kind of like this somewhere. So we have two regions here, right? So what we have here is two regions. So let's rewrite these regions in a different way so that we can get uh, a relation between the number of lines and the regions form. So with no line at all, we have one region. As soon as we draw one line, we get two. That means one was already there. We added one more. Perfect. Now let's say we draw another line. So as you draw the next line, so we have two lines now. You can count the regions are one, two, three, four, right? So these two lines added two more regions. So we could write this as one was there without lines. And then we have one plus two, right? So one line gave one, two line gave two more. If I draw the third line, let us say third line is kind of like this. So we can count the number of regions as one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, seven. So what we get here is seven regions. So we already had four, three more, right? So we could write this as one plus, one plus two plus three. Do you see that? So if you observe this particular pattern, it's kind of combination of the number of lines which we're drawing, right? If I draw the fourth line, then what I expect here is one plus, we already have 1 plus 2 plus 3, we expect 4 more regions to be created. 7 plus 4, 11 in all, right? So that is how we can actually grow the number of regions by increasing the number of lines. Now, looking into this, if we go for n lines, then we expect this to be 1 plus 2 plus 3, plus 4 plus so on till n correct so that is sum of n numbers correct so in the case of combination you could write this as uh, 1 plus sigma n where n is the number of lines that is one way of dealing with it and you know this combination sum of the series is equal to 1 plus n times n plus 1 divided by 2, right? That's the formula for sum of n numbers. Uh, you could look into related videos about this. And when we're talking about combinations, this sum of n numbers is also given by, let me write here. So we have n1, n plus 1, c2, right? So that gives you the formula here, n plus 1c2, which is the total number of regions, right? So we have derived a formula for number of regions, which is n plus 1c2 plus 1. So if the number of lines are 10, n will be 10, then we'll have 11c2 plus 1 as total number of regions, right? So, so the formula is number of regions will be equal to, let me highlight this, and I hope, 
how we get the result is very clear using the pattern which we just used. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Feel free to post questions. And for more videos on this topic, you can search for Anil Kumar Combinations Playlist. Thank you and all the best.